लिपट लिपट के राम चरण में आंखों में गंगा जल भर ले श्री राम तो क्षमाशील है पापों को स्वीकार तो कर श्री राम के चरणों में जन की बोले बोले हनुमान बोले भक्तों की आना श्री राम जी चरणों में मन की Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In a few days, the Hindu community is going to be celebrating yet another holiday. This one is going to be dedicated to Lord Hanuman and it is known as Hanuman Jayanti. For anybody who doesn't know who Lord Hanuman is, he is the monkey god and he is mainly the god of strength and he is known as the humble servant of Lord Ram. You guys have been loving all of these cultural videos and a lot of you guys have requested a video for a puja setup for Hanuman. And of course, as usual, I have to give a big shout out to my sponsors over at Shakti Sari and Spiritual. They are one of those Indian stores slash religious stores on Liberty Avenue that sells amazing religious goods. They also sell a couple of food items. They sell clothing and anything you would need for pujas or Hindu weddings. Now, I wanted to let you guys know they are located at 12415 Liberty Avenue in Richmond Hill, New York. Make sure you check them out. Tell them that Matthew sent you and you will find everything that you need. So if you are ready to get into this video as much as I am, please keep on watching. And as usual, whenever I do any videos like this, I always tell you guys to make your parsads and your sweets and your offerings first. The reason why is you just want to get those out of the way. You want to get everything cooked and then you can go ahead and worry about setting everything up. It just makes the process much easier. So I'm starting off here with my Parsad. It's a very, very quick and simple Parsad recipe. For any of you guys that doesn't know what Parsad is, it is one of the main offerings that we use when we have puja or when we have prayers. And basically Parsad is just flour and ghee or clarified butter that is cooked down together. Some people add raisins and cherries and you add in milk and sugar and all those good things. And it's almost like a sweet pudding. And then also specific to Hanuman puja is rote. For any of my Guyanese, Trini, or Indo-Caribbean people out there who are Hindus, you would know that whenever you do Hanuman Puja, you have to have rote. And for anybody that doesn't know what rote is, it is basically like a small biscuit or a cookie. And basically it's made out of flour, sugar, ghee. Some people add raisins and cherries as well. It's formed into like these flat disc shapes and then it is fried to perfection. And if you guys didn't know this already, you could head on over to Shakti Sari and Spiritual and you can find your ghee, your flour, and any simple ingredients that you would need to put together your parsad or some of your sweets. So next time you're shopping for puja items, also pick up some items for your parsads. And once you finish cooking all of your parsads and preparing your food items, you can go ahead and set them into a nice tari or a plate so this way they can be offered when you're doing your puja or your prayers. So in my tari here, I'm going in with a banana, some grapes, a pear, some apples, and I'm gonna go in with five rote. In my family, we always use five rote when we're making offerings to Hanuman. Some people do seven and some people do three, but this is our number. And I'm also gonna go in with some parsad that I had prepared. I'm gonna go in with some para just because we have it on hand as well. And I'm also gonna go in with some puri and sweet rice. Basically, I'm taking a pair of puris. I'm gonna put in a nice couple of spoonfuls of sweet rice. I'm going to fold it in half and put it in my tari. Now the para and the sweet rice are not imperative. However, usually when you're doing other pujas, if you're doing pujas to the other gods and goddesses, you might have these things already made so you can offer them to whoever you wish. And once everything is set beautifully on the plate as per your liking, you'd of course top it with a flower and you can put some money on it as well. Just go ahead and put the money towards the fruits that you can wash again because remember, money might have been in other places. You don't want to put it on things like the parsad where you would be eating it afterwards. But other than that, this is how you prepare the parsad plate and that's how quick and simple it is. And I just wanted to show you guys that this right here is the general puja pack that was sent to me by Shakti Sari and Spiritual. So I'm just going to empty out everything and show you what is in it. So of course we have a pack of cotton balls. We also have a pack of Hawan Samagri. Now this is the stuff that you would put into the holy fire when you are doing your puja. There's also a small bottle of ghee in this package. You have some supari, which I've already put down there. You have your agarbati or your incense, as well as some dupe. Now these are the wood sticks you put in the Hawan Kund, and that is your matches. It comes with some wicks for your diyas as well. You have some honey that comes in there. And of course you have your other sarjam like your chandan as well as your elaichi or cardamom pods. And you have this thing called Google. It's basically like sugar crystals. And you have cloves and you also have camphor and you have attar or perfume. You also have some more diyas and you have your sindoor as well as your dye or turmeric or haldi. 
And of course you have some muli, which is the holy thread, this red thread. And this is something that I personally like to do when I'm having puja or prayers. I like to take a big tari or whatever nice plate that you have. I like to line a bunch of diyas all around it. And then I like to fill up my sarjam or my materials that I would need during the puja in them. This way, as you're doing your puja, everything is right next to you and you don't have to go scrambling for anything or looking for anything. You want to be as organized as possible. So in the first two, I'm going to go in with my cloves in one. I'm going to put my Google in the other, also known as like those little sugar crystals. And then I'm going to go into one with my elaichi or cardamom pods. And in the next three dias, I'm going to go in with my chandan. I'm also going to go in with my sindor. And I'm also going to go in with my dai or turmeric or haldi. I'm also going to go ahead and unwrap the red thread and go ahead and rip off that sticker. And then I'm going to put my camphor down. Now, whenever you're doing your puja, I'm not doing it just because of this being a tutorial, but you'd want to go ahead and open up that camphor and just crush it into smaller pieces so it's easier for use when you're doing your puja or your work. And I'm also going to go onto this plate with my supari. Now the suparis are definitely a big part of the puja, so make sure they're there. And you're also going to put on your attar or your perfume. And the last three things that I'm going to put down on this plate are my honey. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of white rice into one of the diyas. And I'm going to put in a little bit of brown sugar. Now, some people use brown sugar when they do puja, some use white sugar. Whatever your familial preferences are, go ahead and do that. Now, again, this is just a general idea of the things that we would normally use during puja. If you need something else specific, you want to consult with your pundit or with your family, just based on the way you'd normally do things. And once you get your sarjam or your main puja items set up, you can work on some other things to put down on your baby. So one thing that I always like to have is a lota that I filled up with water. You always want to have this on hand just because throughout the puja, you will need a little bit of water. So it's good to just keep this to the side. And at this point, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your hawan kund or the holy fire. So what you need to do is take your hawan kund that you have and you're going to cover the bottom with a nice piece of foil wrap. The reason why we do this is just to protect our hawan kund so this way it doesn't degrade over time. And also you want to just use it for easy cleanup at the end of your puja. The first thing that I'm going to do after I put the foil wrap down is I'm going to put a ghee soaked cotton ball down in the middle. And that is what's going to help you to start the fire when it is time to do so. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take three pieces of my dupe or that wood or the wood sticks and I'm going to put them in a triangle shape. So this way that is how they're going to sit. And this is the way that you're going to want to orient it when you start your puja. And right next to the hawan kun, you're going to want to keep a small tari and you're going to fill it with a little bit of that hawan samagri or the ingredients that are going to go into the hawan kun as you feed the holy fire later on. And on top of that, you're going to want to add in some cloves, some elaichi or cardamom pods, and you're going to put in a piece of fruit that you have, a little pinch of the parsad that you have, or whatever offerings that you have. And you're also going to put a small piece of camphor. So now that you have all of the different odds and ends prepared, you can go ahead and set up the main beiti or the main space that you're going to do your puja. Now, I'm not going to be doing the beiti filled with the dirt and all of that because this video is more geared to people who want to do a small little puja or a small prayer at home. This is not like a very big and elaborate puja. So the first thing I've done is I've covered my platform with a nice red sari or red cloth. And now I'm going to put my Hanuman Murti down in the back of the platform. And in one corner of the baby or your platform, you're going to want to put a small tari down. And I like to put a little bit of rice. I like to put my dia on top with the wick and some ghee and of course some flowers. This right here would be used for your RT or when you're going to pass the plate around you, the individuals who are participating in the puja as well as around the deity that you're worshipping during the puja. The next thing that we're going to prepare is a small pond leaf with a few different offerings. This is something that you would normally put down when you are doing a puja in front of the deity that you are invoking. Now we are only doing one for Hanuman today but if you are doing multiple pujas you would make multiple of these for each god or goddess. So in my palm leaf, I made sure to rip off the tip and the stem. That's very important. Then I put down a little bit of the parsad that we made, or you could rip off a piece of the rope if you wanted to. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of yogurt. That part is optional. And I'm also going to go in with a little drizzle of honey. And then I'm going to put in a piece of fruit. So I'm just adding in a grape. And I'm also going to go in with a little bit of brown sugar, as well as a coin and a few cloves. And I'm going to go in with a small piece of camphor. Now these are the ingredients that my family uses and that we put in our little offering in the pond leaf. You might do this a little bit differently, but this is just a baseline of how you could do it. And basically what I would do is I would take it and I would put it down right in front of the murti or the statue or representation of the god or goddess 
that I would be worshipping. And somewhere on your puja platform or your beidi, you would also want to put on your plate of parsad that you made. Again, this has all of the fruits. This has my rote, my parsad, my sweet rice. And I'm also going to put in that money that I was talking about before. And I also put some tulsi leaves on there. When you are doing Hanuman puja, it is very, very imperative that you have tulsi leaves. There's a lot of different reasons, a lot of different stories that goes with it. And so this is one of the things that really is needed for his puja. And as far as the fresh items go, I have some tulsi leaves. Again, as I said, tulsi leaves are imperative for Hanuman puja. I also have some pond leaves. And whenever you're using your pond leaves for puja, you have to rip off the tip and you have to rip off the stem as well. And as far as flowers go, you can use any types of flowers that you wish. I have some hibiscus flowers here, and I also have some carnations. Red flowers are traditional, but you can use whatever you want. And another item that I'm going to be putting down in my puja space or my prayer space is the Hanuman flag. Now, whenever you're doing Hanuman puja, usually a red flag is raised. Now, if this was just a very simple offering you were doing at home, you do not have to raise the flag. But if you were doing a full-on puja, you would want to raise the flag and you'd want to get a bamboo to raise it on. As you guys can see, I also went ahead and I put down my incense sticks on the side there as well. So that is absolutely it, guys. I really appreciate you guys for sticking with me this far till the end of the video. This is how quick and simple it is to set up a Hanuman puja space. You guys have asked me, a lot of you guys have requested this one, and I happily delivered again. If you guys have any more requests on videos like these, recipes, or anything of the sort, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you lovely people enjoyed my video today, please don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and drop those comments down below. I hope for any of you guys celebrating Hanuman Jayanti, I hope you have a great day, a blessed day, and a delicious day. And for anybody not celebrating, I hope you learned a little bit more about this holiday through this video, as well as how we would prepare for it. I'll see you guys again very soon in one of my next videos. Bye everyone. Take a piece of the